<laughs> if you have an endless supply of something, what would that thing be? I'm not trying to say milk, but <laughs> <laughs> I lost a month's schedule just in your phone because yeah, your phone was stolen. Everything, yeah, like everything was on, on my phone, like reminders, to do lists. I was just like, uh, at this point in my life, I've also become a little like. I don't know if it's age or, but I get peopled out. Oh, uh, like your social battery dies. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like it would be a ideal day, but if you can add just some caressing time in there. If you could have dinner with somebody, dead or alive, uh-huh. who would it be? Hmm. But for me now, my work is not your typical nine to five. I could literally get a call at seven p.m. and I'm on that call like, but. Have you done this? Did you go here? Did yeah. you pick this? Did you pay this person? Yeah. It's, it's well. Welcome to the It's Never That Serious, a podcast by Breezy, and I'm very excited to be introducing my next guest. TV and radio personality and also a part-time rapper. Not part-time, full-time. <laughs> full-time rapper. The other things are the ones that are part-time. Welcome to the show, Ninja C. Hey. Marita did some, she said she like rhymed something. Ninja C, the what? The side of me you never see. Okay, yeah. that's so cool. So like, this was like an alter ego. Is, is Ninja C an alter ego? Yeah, initially it was really like that said that I would keep secret mm. and to myself and very few people ever got to see it yeah so that was like the monica that i would do when i would start the songs i'd be like ninja see the side of me you never see yeah but now i feel like i can't use it anymore because everyone has seen everyone it. knows who ninja <laughs> C is like people actually meet me and be like oh, how is ninja C?" and i'm like it takes me a second because me i know you are cynthia yes and i'm like ninja who? she's good she's good ninja C and mama cla i'm yeah, the only one who doesn't have <laughs> no alter ego Breezy. Uh, sub is boring. Okay, Breezy, yeah. Breezy. Breezy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Ninja C. Yeah. You're in the studio? I Cooking am, up some, some, I some? I am in the studio currently, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah. I thought this year I would give the music a break and focus more on the media stuff. Yeah. Because you know how, like, being multi-talented and all. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes you have to, like, pick a struggle. I yeah. feel like last year I really focused on the music. Mm. So I was trying to, like, do... Do the YouTube channel, do you know the content, everything else. really be in that content creator space. Yeah. But the studio was calling, mm. it was like, you know, and then I landed on uh, producers who were in a space to do new sounds. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm trapped here for a bit. If you had to choose, like, what's your ultimate passion between music and the media, which one is it? That's such a tough choice. I feel yeah. like I love them all yeah. equally. Okay. Music, not even because like I'm doing the music, but music just, just as in a, general. a concept. Mm. So beautiful. God was so good to us. Yeah, <laughs> I know. What's yeah. the best part about being you, Cynthia? I think diversity. Like just being able to kind of metamorphosize into different spaces, do different things. Yeah. Build, rebuild. Um, adapt, rebrand. I feel like I do that quite easily. Yeah. yeah. I think you actually are like a rebranding should I say savant like <laughs> It's like it's like you just wake up one day and you're doing something completely different and you kill it and then you move on to the next and then you move on to the next and I feel like that's really fascinating. Yeah, people used to say that about my dad. Yeah. I remember one time there were like there was a headline and they're like, "Oh, General Eli Tumwine, a jack of all trades. Yeah. And then someone was like, a master of none. Of course we were mad, but usually that's the entire saying. But yes. I feel like for him, he was an outlier in that he was a master at all the trades he that decided he... to follow. Yeah. So I think maybe that's where I got that's it That's where he came yeah. from. Like he just showed us that the world is not one dimension. No, you can do so many things and be so many things. Yeah. yeah. If you could go back and talk to your 20 year old self. Huh. What advice would you give her? <laughs> what, what, what would you tell her? I mean, let the book come out because, girl, <laughs> I, so many things. Yeah. But I think mostly just to remain authentic, 
even if you're in a space where you have to keep rebranding, like our industry and stuff like that, yeah, the things that make you you are the things that make you thrive and the things that attract people to you. Mm. So, you know, sometimes you can be in different spaces and as you're rebranding, you feel like, okay, maybe I need to change this about myself. Maybe I need to be more friendly, more outgoing, more... And yet it's not your personality. And then you find you spend so much time forcing this energy that is not yours and losing yourself. And yeah. then losing who you are essentially yeah. at the core. Yeah. And everything you're trying to earn or everyone you're trying to be around, it's not worth it. I love that. Authenticity is key because I remember when I just joined the media, I'm not necessarily like the, the most, the loudest or flamboyant or extravagant person. Like yeah. I'm not in your face. I'm not that type of person. Yeah. But everybody wanted me to be that person. Yeah. Like to this day, they'd be like, why can't you be more like insert name of somebody who is yeah. that person? And I'm like, because I'm not that person. Yeah. It's me. I'm Sabrina. And if I want to chill i'm gonna chill if i don't want to go to events i don't want to go to events you're not gonna make me go yeah all for the, the all for the brand nah nah but i do remember the irony of this conversation is the first time i met you you were like no you have to be more friendly with people like it's okay <laughs> if they ask for your number like share it like you never know when you're gonna no, because you you take it on the other side take it to the other side of the spectrum i was so private despite yeah. being so public i yeah. was so private it was so difficult for mm. me to do all of the things you were telling me to do and yeah. i think they came naturally to you yeah. because it was part of your personality but um just to set the record straight i have become you know like i really be putting myself <laughs> out there <laughs> what does an ideal day what's like tell us what an ideal day is for you cynthia not like a typical day but like if you were to say today was a good day yeah what is that day like i think any day for me that involves my family my own family and my extended family yeah and then like my really like gang goes like my inner circle friends is a perfect day mm. it doesn't matter where we are or what we're doing but if i can have like if in the morning to the afternoon i spend time with my family and then like evening to night it's just like either a girl's night or like some of my artist friends and we're just hanging out and talking yeah that would be a good day yeah yeah is there any one thing or in sleeping l- in between there oh my god you get those are two very extreme things no like 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 also like a good day just, but then nap I, then exactly. good day continue because i just remembered that okay now at this point in my life i've also become a little like i don't know if it's age or but i get peopled out oh like your social battery dies yeah so yeah. i feel like it would be an ideal day, but if you can add just some caressing time in there. You know, I was, it's so funny you should Perfect. say that. I was watching um, an interview Prince did, and he said he moved to Rome. Is it Rome or Italy? One of those countries that sound like that. And he was talking about um, how he moved there because at two, between two and five, <laughs> they siesta. They siesta. <laughs> they just Everyone I closes know. shop and goes and lives their best life. And come and then you regroup and come back. Someone. And I was like, that's fascinating, actually. Yeah, someone. You want to move there? Something. No, about Tanzania on Fridays. Yeah. Because it's a largely Muslim state, so on Friday they have Juma prayers, and then after that it's just. But that's kind of like life like now. This is that, that's Kampala. Life where? That's here. Ah. You mean you stay in office on Friday afternoon? Well, are they paying you enough? I mean, Go home. Are they? <laughs> close that laptop. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, close that. But for me now, my work is not your typical nine to five. I could literally get a call at seven p.m. and I'm on that call like, but have you done this? Did you go here? Did yeah. you pick this? Did you pay this person? Yeah, it's, it's wild. Why do you never leave the house without? I'd say my wedding ring, my ring, and my anklets. Yeah, yeah, and it's, my phone. It's jewelry. Yeah. But if you, those two things. And like, your phone. And my phone. If you left the house without your phone and you like reached town. I drive back. Is it? Yeah. Because what am I doing? Like my whole day is on there. Recently my phone got stolen and I realized like eh, I really need to do some of these things like in my head or like in my heart. Because how is my end? I lost a month's schedule. Just in your phone? Because yeah, your phone was stolen. Everything, yeah, like everything was on, on my phone. Like reminders to do lists. I was just like it's like life had ended. and I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I hear you. Remember when they they locked down internet yeah. in the whole country? Yeah. I realized I had nothing in my life that does not involve the internet. Like 
except for my existence and my clothes and <laughs> my being, like yeah. my phone, I couldn't watch movies, I couldn't listen to music, yeah. I had nothing. I literally had to go to the video library to borrow movies. So I, I think we need to start thinking like, what was life like before these sure. gadgets? But I'll tell you, for my phone, I, I, unless I'm doing like work emails and like some video stuff, picture stuff, Yeah. I do everything. There are people, I'll come to meetings and everyone's pulling out their laptop and me, I'm just there on my phone. Because I'm like, if it's an email you want, I'm going to send it from my phone. Yeah. If it's a PDF that you need me to read, I'm reading it from my phone. Yeah. So like laptops, TV, radio, um, like generally other gadgets, mm. I'm good with that. I'll spend months without touching my TV. But your phone is your life. My, yes. Because <laughs> everything is there. Yeah. What's one thing that you you never run out of in your house? Of if it runs out, panic like sheer panic. Of milk. I need, <laughs> and it's funny because I'm really trying to like get off milk this year. But if milk runs out, it's problematic. It's a problem. For everyone involved. It's like a crisis. <laughs> like shut down, shut down. We need. Yo. A, we have an emergency. And I'm saying this because one time and one time only it happened, and we were like. Eh, eh. What's good? What's like this house runs on milk? <laughs> Who, how is what that do you tea? mean? We are very big tea drinkers uh -huh. at home and milk tea drinkers. Yeah, then there's people who like cereal, then Bella. Like, it's just a milk centered home. Yeah, if we, I'm trying, to, like I said, I'm trying to get off milk. I made this decision in November last year. We are still here. How's that going? Ah, it's not going. Everything, <laughs> everything has it's like saying trying to get off Irish potatoes. I could get off Irish potatoes. I, I've actually spent months without eating Irish potatoes. There's a problem. Rice is the one where I'm like, please, what is life? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Every time I hear these diets that say, cut off carbs, rice is the worst. I'm like, mm, it's, the, it's bad to you. Yeah. It's not to me. Yeah. Rice hasn't done it's, nothing to me. I don't see why. It's an essential at, at it my... It is. <laughs> I think the one thing that I would never let l run out in my house, I know this one is, is may seem obvious to people, but toilet paper. Yeah, same. When toilet paper is on the verge of running out, I actually panic. I'm like, what shall happen to the house then? Yeah. What shall happen to this household? Am I going to be in one of those ghetto households? I almost said that, but then I remembered that incident of when the milk ran out. No one cared. And it was actually a no crisis. No eh? the, 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 I was just like, ah. Let's send my so and so. But in the moment when we realized there was no milk, even before we thought to send yeah. or drive, it was just like, what? Yeah. How did that happen? Who let this happen? Why did? It? Yeah. If you could have an endless supply of something, while we're on the subject, if you could have an endless supply of something, what would that thing be? Hmm. I'm not trying to say milk, but. <laughs> Internet. I think move to Mbara at this point. Wi-Fi. Yeah. L unlimited for yeah. life. That makes sense. Because, you know, then I can work, entertain myself. Maritza said binyewa. Did you mean food or you meant no, like in life? No, I meant in life. As in, I'm meaning in a life of abund abundantly full of everything. Yeah. And they say pick one thing forever and ever you're going to get this thing. Mm. Not fuel, not plane tickets, <laughs> not Wi-Fi. Maritza chose binyewa. Me, I judged her low-key. You know what? To eat their own, and I can see. But someone said milk, so I guess. <laughs> same WhatsApp group. For me, it's an ancestral thing, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. not just about me. I'm carrying my whole lineage on my back. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I, I, you're one of those people who I know, as my friends, who always knows the latest, like when it comes to like, music and, and movies. Music. Movies, no? Movies. Okay, not movies. It's music mostly. Like, you usually put me on to artists that I've yeah. literally never heard of. Tell us an artist that you feel like is underrated at the moment. Uganda, worldwide, doesn't matter. <coughs> mm. The thing is, there are so many. There are so many. There you don't want to say some and leave out some. Eh? Yeah, there are so many. Who comes to your mind, like, top of mind right now? Tracy Melon. Is that Ugandan? Yeah, mm -hmm. she's Ugandan. Is she a rapper? No, she yeah. is. Uh, she does like R and B. Um, yeah, mostly R and B. She blends English and vernacular, and her voice is just so 
magical. Yeah. And I think she'll get there, but it's taking a bit of time. She was part of the Pearl of Africa Stars competition mm. where there was Kasten, who has bloomed. I would have said him, but I feel like he's now starting to bloom. I'd have said tie dye, but I think 2024 is higher. So yeah. she's sweeping that. Yeah, I, I've seen you posting her. Yeah. Mm. So this year she decided to start with a bang. I feel like now everyone knows her, so we can't put her in the underrated category. Yeah. Internationally, eh, Sabrina Claudio, I think. Oh. And I was just talking about her the other day. Yeah. I just feel like. Why is why is nobody talking about You know I don't know who that person is. <laughs> I just know her because every time I'm trying to google myself Oh yeah, you It comes off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should listen to her music. I think you would actually appreciate it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, cuz you really put me onto some really cool artists. There's one Sharon. whose name I can't pronounce, but it's Ama Amari, Amari. Amari. Yeah. Yes, Amari. Amare, yeah, she's I think Ghana. she's so dope. Like, she is. you put me onto her, and I, I remember Spotify just created for me a playlist yeah. that I ended up listening to most of her songs. And I actually love her. She's yeah. actually really dope. Yeah, I recently realized that I'm um, a girly, like, a girly. most of my favorite out, uh, like artists, upcoming, the ones who have been on that scene, are females. Yeah. And I like someone I've, like recently they were like, which Spotify artists from Uganda would you want to see? And then I did like a whole old girl. They were like, hey, there are no men, not <laughs> because feminists. I'm like, no, actually, I just realized that I mostly lean towards female artists. Yeah. Yeah. If you could have dinner with somebody, dead or alive, uh -huh. who would it be? Sounds so funny, but it would be like my great 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 grandfather Kavalega. Because you know, like we have all this information about him, what yeah. I just want to like tap into like how his mind used to work, yeah, how his decision making you process know what? was, you know, like what his vision. Like, was he doing some of the things for ego, or was it like he genuinely was fighting for? us as a country yeah and also because growing up like they because he's my great great grandfather on my mom's side they made us feel so proud to like be <coughs> associated then i would ask him about like personal family stuff like but why are we like this <laughs> you know? like, what, what happened along the way that made us now like, evolve into who of you is responsible <laughs> for what's going on here yeah yeah like, you know let's tell let's that's have actually it. very very like Probably one of the smartest answers I've ever had to that question. Because like people like me, I'm like Obama, Larry King, but, but like it would really be interesting to know yeah. to hear from like our forefathers and just understand what their thought process was. Yeah. And just kind of get like a clearer picture of what life was like. Yeah. Then mm. like I feel like honestly, they were living a good life. Simpler time. Yeah. Yeah. If you could only, I was going to ask you if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, but I already know the answer. But if you could only <laughs> listen, <laughs> if you could only listen to one artist for the next five years, oh. one artist for the next five years, yeah. who would it be? Hmm. It's a thinker. It's really a thinker. <laughs> like, you put me on that spot there. Is this like in local and international? Or yeah, like, like it cuts a, just just know all my questions are not specific. Like you can say Rihanna, you can say Akine, whoever. It would be Akine and Beyonce. Be Akine sure. and Beyonce. Yeah. I like, I, I think that's a good answer because you have to pick an artist who has range. Range, yeah. Right? Like they can do a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of that. I would do Drake. Simply because he cuts across my two favorite genres, <laughs> which is R&B and hip hop. Yeah. Surely you can find an R&B Drake and you can find a hip hop Drake and you're good. Yeah, but he's so like you don't know which direction he's going to go with. Go with it. Yeah. I guess he has a big enough catalog to get yeah. you through five years. Mm. I just I'm not I'm not too big on his current direction. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he was he would have. Like, if this had been like two years ago, he would have been my straight up a bad pick. I hear you, I hear you. But Beyonce is a good one. I like, like, Akine, I, I haven't listened to her extensively. Yeah. But yeah, I think those are, those are some good choices. Now, nah, Beyonce takes that bag because yeah. I feel like 
she also has that curry invention gene. Eh? She will, if we are doing trap, she's getting on that trap chain and killing it. Yeah. If we're doing um, the EDM dance music, she's getting on and she's killing it. So, before we wrap this conversation up, we're gonna do a quick fire question, yeah. a quick fire segment. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Why, why is that reaction? No, you know how like on a normal day when you're just like, casually talking and like in fun times and whatever, you can do it. But there's something about when you're put on the spot. <laughs> like now my... Blood, you are like, on the spot. Wine or champagne? Wine. Hot or cold? Hot. All black or all white? All black. Rich or famous? Rich. Comedy or horror? Horror. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why am because I shocked they by that? Yeah. yeah. Horrors make you laugh. Yeah. You know what horror you need to watch? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> now you're trying to like, like, really. This scary. one won't make you laugh. <laughs> okay. Well, at least the thing is, I could either laugh or I could be scared. Comedy is obvious. Like the worst part about comedy is yeah. when it's not funny. Yeah. There's a sh- there's a movie called I Let You In. I watched it. And I watched it with a friend, and we're all just like, hey, hey, this is, this is going to be fun. By the end, we're like, <sighs> just happened. But at least you were with a friend. We need to let this bad, but we watched The Office the rest of the evening to let out the bad energy. Because it was in there. It was in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Um, book or movie? Movie. Appetizer or dessert? Dessert. Apple or Android? Apple. Lights on or lights off? Huh? <laughs> you heard me. Lights on. Okay. Yeah. You Bitch. must see. <laughs> you must see. You must see. Beach day or game drive? Ah, beach day. Game drive. I know, right? But there are people who like nature and they want to be one with the earth. Because game drives, you know, you have to be up really early. Yeah. I to see the animals. Person, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're not. You're. I thought I was not a morning person. <laughs> you're not a morning person. God knows how I survived morning radio. <laughs> Did you ever have like. Morning prep in school? I played the fifth. Okay. <laughs> Smarties <laughs> or Skittles? We shall circle back to that. Smarties or Skittles? Smarties. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Cash or gifts? Cash. 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 You guys, your love language is money, eh? No, yeah. actually, I'm a gifts person, but I've found that lately, eh? People don't be knowing what I like. Yeah, but if you phone someone who knew exactly what you like. Okay, then give. Yeah. You know what I realized? Sometimes like someone will feel bad giving you the cash to like buying your iPhone 13. But they'll buy the phone for you. So me, I feel like gifts is kind of giving. You know what I'm saying? The gifts are giving. <laughs> but it's hit or miss. Cash is put on. Hit I'm going straight to the store. And, and the problem with cash is I'll spend it on useless things. Do you know what? As women... Actually, you make a point. Cash is not the best idea because you're giving me cash to buy an iPhone, but somehow I'm in the supermarket buying milk. Two cartons. Exactly. I <laughs> know. Uh, we, so we need to have a conversation about, about this, this milk, milk obsession. Addiction. Like, what is going on? Let me tell you. When there was this fl- uh, flavored milk had just come by this particular company, and there was like banana flavor there was vanilla there was bubble gum. bubble gum yeah i remember bubble gum if anyone could see my pictures from between 20 2003 to 2006 yeah bubble gum, was bubble gum. proudly brought to you proudly by bubble gum to you <laughs> chicks and everything <laughs> but, but what happened to that bubble gum milk it's there in, uh, in kenya sometimes it's i send for it it's oh it's that okay <laughs> it's okay. serious wow it's that serious you know how people are like oh i brought you this from uh, duty free i'm like just bring for me oh my god i'm so glad i know this next time i'm anywhere i'll yeah. just buy a carton of problem is it's heavy it's hey, heavy you love so you, you don't have to buy the whole cartoon. Half is fine. Like okay. It's not <laughs> Thank you so much, Cynthia, for coming through. <laughs> so it's never that serious. As you can see, it's never that serious. Never that serious. But before I let you go, do you want to hit me with any of the questions that I asked you or any question that you want to ask me? Do yeah. you want to ask me? Because I want to be like interviewed as well. Uh, you know, as you should. Okay, it's ask me something. Serious. Ask me something. Ask me something. If you, if you had to move yeah. countries, where would you live? Because I know you like to travel. Do I have all the money that I want or is this money? S- They've told you. Yeah. Pick a country. Ah, uh, it has to be a place with sand and beaches. I'm not too difficult. I would move to Zanzibar. 
Yeah. For I, life, like for life, yeah. I like, I want to live an island life. Have you like you yeah. see how uh, people on an island very live? Relaxed, very not relaxed. Very relaxed. We'll do it when it when it gets done. When it gets done, yeah. we've done it. That's it. Do you know what? Um, I was having a conversation with someone, and they told me that sometimes people's personalities need to be matched with places. That's why some people don't thrive. Yeah. You find like a hyperactive place. Yeah. And for you, you're laid back. And you just can't match the two energies. Yeah. So a laid back person in a laid back environment is back. That's exactly it. I would have said Jamaica and I like that you say that because I think that's absolutely true. Yeah. I'd have said Jamaica because of the vibes obviously, but from what I see on TV and I don't Crime. know if it's true. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's true <laughs> because even us they even us they overdo <laughs> yeah, even us they over lie about us. So I don't know if it's true but I'm I'm afraid of that. And yet I've been to Zanzibar and it's so peaceful and so calm and it's like no one even has time for your crime business. Yeah. They are just living their best life. So I would probably move to like an island. That's a good question. Can and I throw it back at you? And your dream career? My dream career is the one I'm doing now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 what country would you want to live in? Uganda. Okay. Even with all our problems. And I'm saying this as someone who goes and wants to come back immediately. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that thing of getting homesick, but no, I'm lying. I don't know. No, do you know <laughs> people say homesick, but... Typically, it will take like days. Eh? As soon as I land, you were like, like, I want to go back so home. Beautiful, but like, where the Puerto home? <laughs> Where's the red side dust on oh the, the chips? Oh my god, listen, you have been watching. It's never that serious. Please, please like and subscribe and follow me on my socials, Serena Agasha, and also Ninja C at Ninja C on all the socials. Leave a comment in the comment section and catch me next time. Bye. I don't think